Well, many of us start the day the same way. Coffee gets a lot of us going in the morning, even if we drink it a little different. Yeah, but have you ever tried your cup of joe with turmeric or maybe perhaps some ginger? <laughs> well, tonight I'm taking you behind the scenes of a Nevada built business brewing organic nitrogen infused coffee. There is a fantastic, intense aroma when you're surrounded by fresh roasted coffee. Now that is a wonderful smell. It is. Yes. It is morning. It is It'll wake up. It'll wake you up. It's everything that's good about the morning. But at Lucky Jack Coffee, the Java isn't served hot. Whoa, what do we got here? On ahead. This is our formulation room. Whoa, nice and chilly. Nice and chilly. Yeah. This is the favorite spot in the facility in the summertime. CEO Ray Cole prefers his coffee cold brewed. This is our most caffeinated uh, coffee drink. It's called Triple Jack. Oh, this is the juice. Yeah, this huh? is the juice. All yeah. right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Smooth, non-acidic. Yeah, and it's coffee first. Yeah. And coffee last. But like all coffee, it begins with fire. And we see the fire right here. You can feel that heat. You can feel it, yeah. And that's blowing into this turbine motor here. The beans here inside the Lucky Jack facility near Lake Mead and Nellis are roasted at 475 degrees. And I see here we got Honduras, we got Peru. And Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Yep. See, this is where you get your beans from. Yep. We take them out, we weigh them, so we know what, how much we're roasting. We yeah. weigh them when they come out. After being roasted, the beans are then set aside to cool and develop flavor. After the, the bean gets cracked when it roasts, right? And so you're actually letting uh, gases out of the bean. The beans are then ground before being mixed with water. They go into one of our four brew tanks here. These are chilled. This is where the cold brew process starts. This is a, akin to the people putting their coffee beans in their coffee pot in the morning. Yeah. Is that correct, yeah. right? Yeah. To break it's it down? A big, it's a big coffee pot. Yeah. Because we cold brew, though, it takes a very long time. It takes us 20 hours. The Lucky Jack cold brew coffee is eventually canned or bottled and then shipped out to stores across the country. About how many bottles can you process in a day? Uh, about 40, well, up to 60,000. The flavors they crank out range from classic black and caramel to their flavored lattes. There's turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon in here. N ingredients you wouldn't normally consider in, in cold brew coffee. Correct, yeah. All right, yeah. cheers. Let's try cheers. this. Wow, well, that's nice. I've never, I've never tasted something like this that, before. That's a very unique product, very unique product. Yeah, and I was really amped up after that story. By the way, uh, Lucky Jack, a cold brewed coffee, began in 2013, and today it can be found locally at Smith's, Target, Whole Foods, and Costco. And by the way, if you are interested in getting into the coffee business, you are in luck. That is because Lucky Jack is now hiring. And for more information, check it out at ktnv.com slash Lucky Jack. They have a nice business there, that's for sure.